Want to know what's behind that door? Stay tuned, I'll show you. What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to go over our Vertra 300 degree simulator. We're going to talk about how we use it, why we use it and the benefits of this system. So without further ado, let's go meet our special guest and he can uh, introduce himself and talk about the simulator. Let's go. Also one of the firearms instructors for the Bellevue Police Department. I'm here today to talk to you about the Virtra 300 simulator system that the Bellevue Police Department has. The Virtra 300 simulator system is a use of force scenario decision making tool that we use for the Bellevue Police Department that not only aids the officers in their decision making skills out on the street, it uh, can also be used as a skills build trait or a skill build trainer uh, for new officers. The Virtua 300 si simulator system has uh, over 200 simulations. Each of the simulations uh, can place an officer in a scenario that he may or may not ever uh, have uh, working the road. Uh, going through the simulation allows the officer to use or gain a background knowledge utilizing different techniques to deal with the situation. The Virtua Simulator uses normal handguns. The, this one that we use is a Glock 22, 40 caliber handgun. The difference between this and a normal handgun is the barrel assembly is replaced with a laser unit. And the magazine that you'd normally have ammunition in is replaced with a CO2 cartridge. This allows the handgun to be operated with cheaper CO2 gas rather than live ammunition. The handgun, when it's fired, does recoil just like a normal handgun causing a laser to go down the barrel and um, register on the back side of the screens. The magazines can be uh, refilled uh, with compressed gas to be utilized over and over again, not having even to replace the CO2 cartridges. Officers can also utilize a basic AR-15 platform. This is uh, done by also replacing the barrel assembly with a laser, uh, the bolt assembly, uh, and also the magazine, which is now uh, compressed gas and also a computer cartridge inside. Officers are also given less than lethal options. This would be similar to the tasers that we use. Again, the cartridge comes off the taser and uh, it also has a laser on it, just like a normal taser would. Officers can deploy the taser just as they would in real life. The laser that's emitted by the uh, simulated taser also registers on the backside of the screens. Officers are given one other less than lethal option. This is a uh, use of, or excuse me, the OC uh, training unit, similar to the OC spray the officers may carry on their belt. The final thing that officers have is the threat fire system. This can be utilized if an officer is actually taking fire inside the simulator. It connects to the officer's duty belt and the inside prongs actually connect to the officer's body. When it's connected to the belt and they're taking on fire, the operator can give small shocks of electricity to that officer to indicate that he'd be getting struck.
Alright, right now we're watching a simulation of a movie theater uh, shooting, active shooter type scenario. This is determined by the individual running the scenario whether the subject complies or he is an actual hostile threat. If the subject is host hostile, then the officer may be forced to use deadly force against him. Oh, you're going to shoot me? You good shot? You think you're fast enough? If he complies, the officer will, uh, or the subject will, actually give up, drop his firearm, and the situation will be de-escalated. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Too late! Part is over, everyone's gone home! Drop the gun, Dave! He's gonna shoot you! Oh, you're gonna shoot me? With the fire shot! You think you're fast enough? Put the gun down! Doesn't matter anyways. We're all dead. How's that feel? All right, you guys, special thanks to Sergeant Hoffman for taking time out of his night to introduce us to the Virtua Simulator. Um, it's an important tool that we use here at the Bellevue Police Department for training our officers and uh, getting them exposed to different things that they wouldn't necessarily get exposed to um, working their shift. So, um, huge shout out to him. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, also, share with family and friends. And um, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, as always, we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.